What is up, Power Stoke Nation? My name is Austin, and welcome to the Power Stoke YouTube channel. As you can see behind me, that is my beautiful 7.3 Power Stroke. We're gonna let it warm up in the background. If you guys are having a hard time hearing me, I really apologize, but that's some good, good 7.3 goodness behind me there. So today's video is gonna be a kind of a fun one. So we're gonna be discussing the two different chip types that are very popular among the 7.3 Power Stroke, and I personally ran the PHP Hydro Chip because I really, really like the idea of not having to pull the chip out of your truck and having downtime. Discuss both, the ups and downs of both, and I'm gonna show you really how much a chip affects these trucks. I, I, I try to portray it in videos, and I know a lot of people, as soon as I get them, they say they're amazing, but I really wanna to try to put it in the video and show you guys the absolute difference there is between stock and let's say the 120 horsepower extreme tune that is available on the hydro chip out of the box. All right, you guys, now that we're in Mexico, the truck's warmed up, we're gonna do these tests, but before we do that, I really wanna discuss with you the difference between the TS6 position chip and the PHP Hydro. I went with the PHP Hydro for multiple reasons, but I'm gonna talk about the TS6 position and why I don't hate it, and I think it's a good chip for some people, whereas the Hydro is good for other people. So, where the TS6 position has its strength is it's affordable, and it's easy and plug and play, and you're done. So, when I was going through, first got this truck, was looking at chips, the TS6 position came up everywhere. Everybody was saying, get it, do this, I run this. And I really liked it. I liked the thought of it being affordable, but there was always that one guy that said, I have the PHP Hydro chip and I love it. And it sparked my interest and I did my research on that. The six position chip is awesome. It comes with the tunes pre-burned. All you do is you pull your computer out, plug it in, hook up the little knob and you're done. Super simple, super fast power, and can't get better than that. I mean, your instant results and you're done. Now, the downfall for that, is it has those tunes preloaded and to reburn them you have to pull the chip out send it to somebody and get it back then you're on downtime you don't have the chip in your truck and that's really hard especially for me driving this truck with the 122 and all the time and then having to put it into stock mode for whatever reason and trying to put around is awful i don't have the throttle response that i have and i don't have the you know i don't i have turbo lag again that's pretty bad and it's just all all together and not good experience. So having to go back to that sucks. Yeah, boo-hoo, I'm a baby about it, but that is my downside and why I didn't choose it. So now to the PHP Hydro Chip. The downside is it isn't as much plug and play as the TS6 position. You get the box, I have a video about it, I'll link it. But anyways, you get the box and everything's in there. You assume the tunes are already on there, but they're not. There's instructions that say you need to hook the chip up to your computer, go to their website, download some software, and then all the tunes are on there and they're all the stock box tunes. So you go through, you find your computer code, pretty easy, there's a ton of videos on that and I do believe that I mentioned it in that video. If not, you pull your computer out, there's a little black plastic cover that goes over it and it has your entry code on there. I didn't have it on the door like a lot of people said they do. So with the PHP Hydro, the downside is it's not plug and play, you get it, you gotta install the tunes on it and then you can put it on your truck. Not a big deal. What I love about this chip is I have a little connector that I bought that's about this long hooks into the back of the chip and then you run a little connector cord you're hooked up to the dash otherwise I would bring you down here and there's a little port down there and now all I have to do is bring my laptop into the truck make sure I have internet connection to download any tunes because it pulls them from the internet and just run them to my chip and I'm done it's no pulling the chip out nothing like that it's super fast super easy so I waited against each other it was either I get instant gratification at the beginning or I get instant gratification later. Now, if I wanna get any custom tunes, again, all I have to do is have somebody email me them, bring my laptop in the truck, hook it up, and I'm done. That is what I absolutely love about the Hydro Chip. And I hope that I can persuade you guys into getting the Hydro Chip if you're doing things that I'm doing. Now, if you're just somebody that wants their 7.3 to stay stock, you don't wanna do injectors, new turbo, anything, you just wanna keep it nice and not do anything and have it be reliable, TS6 position chip is the way for you because if you're not gonna change anything, you don't need to worry about updating your tunes and you can just plug and play and be done for the rest of the truck's life. Now, if you're like me and you're sick and twisted and you wanna keep upgrading and making more power and you chase that more horsepower and more torque, 
you're going to want the Hydra Trip because you're going to constantly be needing new custom tunes depending on the new parts you buy. Like for me, I'm going to possibly be doing a new turbo, definitely going to be doing new injectors, new fuel system, all that fun stuff. And you need to have a custom tune to really, really put those things to work in the best that they can do. So that is why I chose the Hydra Chip. And if, like I said, if you just want instant power, you don't really care, you're not gonna upgrade anything on the truck, TS6 positions for you. If you're gonna constantly be building your truck for power, the Hydra Chip is definitely the way to go. So let's get on with the fun part of this video. So I'm gonna start out with a stock launch. We're gonna do a stock zero to 60 launch and see how well that does for me. I'm on a pretty abandoned country road. There's been a couple cars that have driven by while I've been here um, down in Mexico. This is really where we're gonna see if this is absolutely worth it. Are right, you guys, this is a stock zero to 60 launch. We're gonna go on the five second mark here. And 60. Wow, that was slow. 15 seconds, zero to 60. Holy crap. EGTs are sitting about 350, so we're sitting pretty good, you guys. All right, you guys, same deal. We're gonna start on five seconds. Wow. 10 seconds, so a five second difference. Wow, that is insane. All right, you guys, we're back at the house after running the truck. I honestly am super surprised at how well the truck handled and how well it performed. It's crazy the difference between stock and the chip being five seconds. That is a major, major time difference. So after all that, the truck held up very well. I'm actually really impressed. The exhaust temperatures didn't get above 400. Transmission sat at about 120. It was very impressive. And for those of you guys wondering, there's nothing special about my truck. The only performance mods, and I quote that, performance mods, are the big intake, which is the 6637 Napa filter, and a 4-inch turbo back diamond eye exhaust with a 10-inch tip. That's it, it just breathes a little bit better, and then I have the chip thrown in. I haven't done any injectors, I have not done anything with the turbo, I've done nothing of that sort. So all that is just off of this truck with those few supporting mods, and they're not even really supporting mods, you don't need them to run a chip. So do chips actually work? Absolutely, they make a huge, huge difference, and it's a bigger difference than I actually thought. So if you guys are really on the fence about a chip and wonder, you know, how what good do they actually perform if you don't know, there you go, there's your answer. It can make a five second difference in your zero to 60 time. So last week I talked about doing some t-shirts and some hats and I have a t-shirt design I wanna go over with you guys. Um, crossing my fingers, this works. I'm gonna have to order a bunch. Uh, I think I'm gonna do 25. Comment below your guys' size because I have a general consensus of what sizes I'm gonna be ordering. I'm ordering medium to uh, triple X, I think is gonna be the highest I go, but I'm only ordering 25 shirts. So there's only gonna be five of each size or two mediums and then three triple x something like that so just just so i know about what the average shirt size is so i know what to order more of for you guys and if they become super popular i will get a lot more coming and hats will be shortly after they're just a little bit more expensive so let's look over this shirt design so it's a pretty simple one the freaking canadians all right, you guys, so this is a super simple design on the t-shirt here. It's the Power Stoke logo on the front. Uh, this is the black with the white logo. I can change that up. I'm considering doing black with a gray logo or a gray shirt with a black logo or a white logo. But for now, it might just be this one just because it's simple. Uh, and then on the back side, you have the YouTube play button with Power Stoke underneath it. So that way, if anybody asks where your awesome merch is from or they're too afraid to ask you where it's from, they can just look at the back. And there it is. I can also get some decals on the way for you guys if you would be interested in that too. I noticed there was a couple comments last week about people wanting to run decals. Now, what kind of decal are you thinking? I'm thinking just the Power Stoke logo. Personally, I would run just my logo if it was my truck. And then obviously my truck's going to be branded here soon. And that's going to be pretty sweet. I'm excited to go over that with you guys because that'll be the accent color reveal is when I do the big 
something special with the truck. And that is all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Smash that like button. Let's share this channel. Let's make it big this year, you guys. Thank you all so much for your continuous support. There will be another giveaway next week. I'm pretty excited for it. And I think you guys will be too. So thank you guys again so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.